Hey everyone, we have this modern pro tour coming up here in a few weeks, so uh, before Fate Reforged gets on Magic Online, I'm probably going to be playing some modern, maybe some legacy. We'll see what happens with the BNR announcement, but uh, this is a deck that I featured on the Daily Digest on the select side, and I uh, changed a few things, but uh, Andrew Shrout played the original version in a daily event, went 3-1. and one. Uh, Most people that have tried the deck said it was really bad, so... We're going to see what happens there, but uh, it's pretty similar to an Infect deck, or uh, it, it even kind of closely resembles the Niv Magus deck that I played at PTRTR. But basically, you're playing a bunch of little creatures, Wild in the Coddle, Monastery Swift Spirit, Goblin Guide, and a bunch of bump spells like Mutagenic Growth, Gorkland Rampager, Become Immense, boom, and some Boros Charms. So, uh, kind of a weird deck, it's just like a lower to the ground zoo deck but you get to take really good advantage of 12 awesome one drops Eidolon of the Great Revel which is fantastic and basically just needs to find a good home and then uh, the changes I made were just like adding some Gitaxian probes it just felt like uh, this deck could use another free spell and to for delve for become immense and I don't know it just seemed like the information might be kind of helpful and you know, just being able to tell when you can afford to go for it. Uh, maybe the life loss is going to be too much, and we just shouldn't be playing this card, but we'll see. Uh, and then other than that, I just added some more threats in the form of Tarmogoyf. It just seemed like the best threat that basically we're not playing already. So, uh, added some of those, and those might be too slow. Like, maybe we should look at having a different one-drop, but uh, I'm not sure, like, what good one-drops are really out there. I'm not really excited about playing something like Kurt Ape, you know? But uh, Tarmogryph, Tarmogryph is pretty good because if our plan A, like this suicidal attack and like pump strategy is not very good, then Tarmogryph should actually be pretty good just because it's pretty big and it's hard to kill. So other than that, we have 20 lands. I changed the mana base a little bit. Uh, I only have two white sources, a Temple Garden and a Sacred Foundry, but I have 12 fetches. And then four Stomping Grounds because it seemed like the best land. And then two basics because... It seemed like we'd be doing ourselves a bunch of damage, so kind of want to mitigate that a little bit, but uh, we'll see. Other than that, I think everything is pretty standard. Uh, some people suggested Rancor, and I like that card, and I had some in my deck, but it seemed like there were too many pump spells, and maybe uh, this deck is one where Rancor is actually very, very good, but if that's the case, uh, maybe it's... Just like we should be cutting Boros Charms and just playing stuff like that. So, I don't know. Uh, definitely a card I thought about playing, but just ended up not doing it. So, sideboard is also a little bit different. I have this Dryad Arbor here. Uh, we have eight green fetches, which is pretty cool because we have uh, all the fetch lands legal now. So, uh, Dryad Arbor is pretty nice in matchups where it's going to be attrition based. They're going to be killing all our guys. And it's also really, really good against Liliana of the Veil. Vale. And I don't expect that this deck is too bad against Liliana Dex or uh, Liliana herself. But I do think Dry Arbor was something that was kind of cute that I wanted to try. So hopefully we can test that out a little bit. And then for uh, big creatures, I have two Chain of the Rocks, two Dismembers. Uh, Shroud's List had three Chain of the Rocks. I like those a lot. But since we have Tarmogoyce of our own, we also have a bunch of Pump Spells. Uh, I think we should be pretty good at dealing with Tarmogoyf. And then as far as things like Splinter Twin, I have a Torpor Orb. So uh, I could also have like Destructive Revelries for their twins. So I think I have enough things to stop that. But the main things I was worried about uh, with the sideboard were stopping combo decks. So uh, I added some Aven Mind Sensors, which are not a great catch-all. Uh, I thought about doing something like playing for Thalia, but... Uh, you have Eidolons already, uh, and a bunch of cheap spells, so Thalia didn't seem great here, but that's certainly an option. And then for little creatures, like for Blue Red Delver, we have some Gut Shots and some Volcanic Fallouts. And uh, initially, Shroud just had a bunch of Gut Shots and like Searing Blazes and stuff, but that was the one aspect of the deck I didn't really like very much, where I felt like those could be dead cards in certain matchups, whereas Tarmogoyf is not. Tarmogoyf is just a threat. So... Uh, that's about it. Deck's pretty fast, uh, ideally, but, you know, we'll see if, if that actually works out in practice, but that's about it. Just uh, a very 
concise, consistent game one plan, sideboard in some hate cards for problematic permanence and, you know, some problematic matchups, and then uh, we'll just see how it goes.